A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. Though the exact death toll is hard to calculate, some estimate between 110,000 to 210,000 people were killed following the aftermath of one of the U.S. government's most top secret and important projects, the Manhattan Project. At the time, the mission was concealed from the public, with only a select few knowing its true objective, to develop the most powerful weapon ever created, the atomic bomb. While its inner workings were confined to a small group of scientists and military officials, the project itself involved hundreds of thousands of people and nearly $2 billion, equivalent to roughly $30 billion today. The Manhattan Project was the turning point for much of the world we know today, so we're covering the most important aspects you need to know to understand the Manhattan Project, and if you'd like to dive deeper, visit our resources below. Okay, let's take a trip back to 1938, when the U.S. was still dealing with the Great Depression and securing the rights of workers through the passing of the Fair Labor Standards Act that summer. But on the other side of the globe, Germany had just made a discovery in December of that year. German scientists Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann, along with Jewish physicists Lisa Meitner and Otto Robert Frisch, had discovered nuclear fission. Which, for all the non-science people out there, means they discovered that splitting an atom would release a tremendous amount of energy. Shortly after this discovery in 1939, Albert Einstein, with input from Leo Szilard, wrote to President Franklin Roosevelt warning nuclear fission could be used to create extremely powerful bombs. The letter made an impact. Roosevelt, fearing Nazi Germany's development of its atomic bomb, responded by forming a special advisory committee that included Enrico Fermi and Leo Szilard to advise him on the feasibility of atomic weapons. In 1942, after the U.S. entered World War II, a special committee concluded that creating atomic bombs was indeed possible. This effort soon evolved into the Manhattan Project, overseen by the Army Corps of Engineers and led by top scientists like Enrico Fermi and Robert Oppenheimer. More on him later. Their mission? Develop atomic bombs that could be deployed during the war. Now, the Manhattan Project's success depended on solving three major problems. One, producing the necessary uranium and plutonium. Two, designing the bomb. And three, testing it. To tackle these challenges, these important facilities were constructed across the U.S. in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Hanford, Washington, and Los Alamos, New Mexico. The facility in Oak Ridge became the headquarters for the Manhattan Project and focused on enriching uranium. Workers here used newly developed methods to separate uranium isotopes, despite the enormous technical difficulties. The team at Hanford was tasked with producing plutonium, which would later be used as fuel to power nuclear reactors. The workers at these two facilities were pioneering an entirely new field in nuclear science and engineering. The work was dangerous and progress was slow. In fact, it wouldn't be until mid-1945 that the team at these facilities was able to produce enough material to construct atomic weapons. But things were a bit different at the Los Alamos facility in New Mexico. Under Robert Oppenheimer's leadership, this site became the heart of the Manhattan Project, where scientists developed the first atomic bombs. The first successful test of the bomb, known as the Trinity Test, took place on July 16, 1945 in the New Mexico desert. The explosion was more powerful than anyone had imagined, lighting up the sky and signaling that the atomic bomb was ready for use. Now, think about that for a second. It took nearly six years from Einstein's warning to the U.S. in October 1939 to the first successful test bomb being dropped in July 1945, sparking an entirely new field of science. But one could argue that it only took one month and one decision to change the entire world. On August 6, 1945, the U.S. dropped a uranium-fueled bomb, nicknamed Little Boy, on the city of Hiroshima. Three days later, on August 9th, a plutonium bomb called Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki. The destruction was catastrophic, with both cities reduced to rubble. Tens of thousands of people died instantly, and the death toll, which we mentioned earlier, would rise to an estimated 110,000 to 210,000 as a result of radiation poisoning and injuries. Japan announced its surrender on August 15, 1945, officially ending World War II. Now, as we mentioned, the cost of the Manhattan Project was nearly $27 billion in today's money. But the human cost was incalculable, with untold lives lost in the bombings and the lasting fear of nuclear war spreading across the globe. The Manhattan Project ushered in the nuclear age, setting the stage for the Cold War arms race and the further adoption of nuclear weapons. Yet, despite the catastrophic aftermath of these two bombs, the scientific field it birthed led to innovations in medicine, energy, and space exploration, which would change life on Earth forever. 
Now, if you'd like to dive even deeper into the history and impact of the Manhattan Project, visit the resources below and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.